How many of you right now are doing in-house estimating? You're estimating your own product and not relying on bids on outside or, or, or a mixture of, a mixture combination. There's still some things you might bid, okay, a, a good majority of you. That's one of the ways in my mind that you can really gain the best control over your cost. Um, why is that? It's because even though you're not becoming an expert in that area, you know, I mean, I, I know a lot about how to stucco a house. I know a lot about how to plumb a house. If you put me in a house and you tell me to plumb it, you know, I don't know that the water's actually going to get to where it needs to go. That, that, that doesn't mean that I can't estimate or figure out what it takes to actually plumb that house or to understand all the different components. When we do our own in-house estimating and we get to more, a, a more detailed approach to our estimating rather than just getting a lump sum bid from somebody, what that allows us to do is it allows us to get kind of in the head of our trade contractors or to understand a little bit better how all those components can come together. If I can understand the components, then I can understand how each one of those components can affect my cost and then I can have greater control over which components I want to use, not use, or how I might be able to interchange or move those in and out. So detailed estimating to us is where you want to get. Again, crawl, walk, run. Okay? Most people start out getting a lot of bids because that's the easiest thing to do when you're getting started. Okay? And it's the easiest thing to manage right off the bat. But learning to add the detail and understand being able to provide these um, takeoffs in-house can really help you gain control. Mike mentioned earlier when we were talking about overhead uh, that Bob makes the comment that you know he struggled at first when, when they were at Wayne and Wayne Homes was growing. They struggled at first with, you know, do we really hire this estimator or this purchasing guy? And what they found was every guy they hired the gross profit got a little better. And then we hired another guy, and the gross profit got even better. Why was that? Well, because we had the horses to pull the cart. We had the ability to go in and start to understand the numbers better, start to do the estimating ourselves. And so that gave us the ability to say, ah, look at this. We could save some money if we just did this, because now we understand this a little bit better. Or if we changed this, or we worked with the trade contractor on that. We did not become experts in any one area, but it allowed us to understand each individual component of the house and how it went together so that we can gain some control over it. Um, the other aspect, and that second bullet should be indented, uh, is uh, that this is a benefit to the trade contractor. Okay? Most of our trade contractors are what? Operator owners, aren't they? Not only are they out there swinging a hammer during the day, but they're trying to run their business at night. And so as a benefit to them, if we can do some of this estimating ourselves, not only do we control that process, but it's one more way that we can become the builder of choice because, hey, I don't have to do my own takeoffs. Okay? And so those guys, the last thing they want to do, you know, after swinging a hammer all day is to come home and, you know, to a pile of plans that they have to bid and estimate. You know, I don't know how many times, you know, I, I found out that the guy, you know, John, my stucco guy, wasn't the one estimating his house as it was his wife, <laughs> you know. And so if that's the approach that he's taking, rather unsophisticated, although maybe his wife's a good estimator, I don't know. But why wouldn't I want to control that process better? Here's the other thing. How many times have you ever had to get a house price put together because you're trying to put this new community together, you send all this stuff out for bids and you find out one of your key contractors is on vacation and you've got to wait two weeks? You know? All that does is slow you down. What are we doing? We're doing what we talked about yesterday. We're allowing other people outside of our influence to be able to control our business. The more we can bring that in-house, the more control we bring to it. It doesn't mean at some point in time we're not going to get them to sign off on those things. But if we put it together properly and use them as a resource, we can do a benefit to ourselves and we can provide a benefit to them. Okay? So this is a great way to do that. Uh, keep, if you're going to start